My next guest is going to be back in action, taking on Joe Anderson Brito at UFC Paris on September 28th. I'm very happy to be welcomed to the show. William Gomez here on the program. William, how are you? Good, and you? I am doing fantastic. Uh, thank you so much for, for making time. I know you haven't fought in close to a year. How difficult has it been not being able to fight? It was up because uh, I love to fight. I like to fight. So I have to wait. But I do a lot of training with my coach, with my team. We are um, always ready. And I know in your last fight that was scheduled against Gene Silva, there was a weight issue. What happened there? I lose weight after my cut, my cutting. I continue to lose weight. I just uh, threw up a lot, and uh, and uh, like that, I was uh, at sixty three uh, uh, kilos. I think I was. Yeah, understandable. Yeah, w wouldn't wouldn't have been good to take that fight uh, being so sick, right? So that that's good. You um, th the fight didn't proceed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, at this time, um, I just won't fight, but. Uh, I know it's uh, it better like that. I agree. Um, how excited were you to fight Joe Anderson Brito uh, just because he's a very entertaining fighter? Oh, I, it's so it's so exciting because um, I think it's a good profile for me. He won't uh, the war, and uh, I going to to give him. And as far as your style against his style, how do you feel like you match up against him? It's gonna be a, a good fight. Uh, Brito is a good fighter, but um, he don't have he don't have um, a lot of uh, weapons like me. Jerry is a young guy that is a young prospect that fought in Ares. He's, he's a champion for the belt in Ares. Coming from Chechnya, he's, he's a monster. This is one of the guys who uh, who is working with him. Also, he's working a lot with a, a good boxer like uh, this young guy in French boxing. Uh, Samaku, what's your name? Ah, Bakari Samake. Uh, Bak Bakari Samake. If you if, if you check on on, on WhatsApp, Bakari Samake is one of the best young prospect boxer coming up, and uh, this is one of the the, the, the main trainer that is working for for the boxing, and uh, and also on the grand game, you have a couple of good guys training with him at gym, yeah. Okay, great. So a good variety of training partners. Do you, when it comes to training camp, do you work with specific fighters for the matchup? For example, Brito is is a striker. Do you work with more with strikers this camp? Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot, a lot. Uh, I do a lot of striking. Um, I mean, um, according to the strategy that we have, I, w I, I would switch some of the fighter and uh, on the striking game. Yeah. Um, by the way, that's Fernand Lopez, uh, who's translating. Appreciate Fernand. He will be in your corner for this fight. Who else will be in the cage with you? Of course, uh, with uh, Benjamin Sarfati, Fernand, and, um, Isa. and Issa uh, Samaki. Issa, the coach of the, the young guy, uh, Samaki, the, the boxer. Okay, excellent. And what's your prediction? How do you see the fight playing out on September 28th? My prediction is um, a lot of people think it's well, it's uh, gonna be a hard fight for me, but uh, I think it's gonna be easy. How do you see the fight ending? Knockout, submission, decision? How do you how do you see the fight playing out? Um, when um, when I will be there, I'm gonna decide. Okay, don't give away the game plan. I like it. No, I no. don't give. <laughs> no, 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 game plan. Um. There's a really big fight uh, taking place in your division uh, on October 26th. Max Holloway, Ilya Taporia. How do you see that fight playing out for the featherweight title? Uh, I don't really know, but I hope um, I hope uh, Holloway gonna win this fight because because uh, I don't like too much uh, Taporia. We have a big head. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you like Taporia? He's cocky. Yeah, he's cocky. He think he think he's. Um, the biggest fighter of the planet like um i don't know um you don't have a lot of respect like uh, for comment s'appelle déjà euh au canada c'est là que fait un chaos par euh volkanovski you don't have the respect uh, for big chap and like, like uh, volkanovski or like max Holloway. um i think if i fight this guy I'm gonna be respectful, but uh, yeah, I think I, I can win. But I have to be respectful if I fight a name like Volkanovski and uh, 
all these guys. Did you sign a new UFC contract? Because I believe this is your fourth fight in the UFC. Um, I have a fourth fight again. Oh, great. So you signed a new contract? Yes. Oh, great. Congratulations. That must feel good uh, going into this fight with a new contract. Uh, I feel good. Seriously, um, my three first fights, uh, we just want to secure the, the win. And now I want to kick some ass. <laughs> yes, I, I, I would agree with that. Um, and this fight is taking place in Paris. Are there any other places you would like to fight in your UFC career? Uh, I want to fight in New York, uh, in Vegas, but uh, in the the Noche. Oh, the Sphere, the Sphere. Yeah, and in the Sphere. And it's in play. Yes, because you fought in the Apex last time, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not as fun because there's not as many uh, people, right? Yeah, 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 not many people, but it's like a sparring. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's like a, it's like being in the gym. Um, what did you think of? Uh, I don't know if you saw it. What did you think of Drikas Duplessis defeating Israel Adesanya a few weeks ago for the middleweight title? Um, I think Duplessis is like a, it's like a kid uh, like, um, trying to fight, you mm -hmm. know. You run and punch. It's it's not clear. It's not a beautiful boxing, but it's work. Were you surprised to see him win, or did you think Adesanya was going to win that fight? Uh, yeah, I was surprised because uh, it's not the same level of striking. But um, but I think uh, the mental is very important, and uh, I think it's. Maybe it's done for Adesanya, I don't know. Um, we've done like n most of this interview in English. How did your English get so good? Was it, how did you learn how to speak English? Uh, I learned <laughs> with you, with a lot of interview. Uh, I learned in UFC and uh, if I don't, uh, if I can understand, I asked to my coach, uh, Fernand, and uh, yeah, I, I try to, to practice like this. Has, uh, has Cyril gone taught you any English? Uh, not, not, not a lot. <laughs> not a lot, but, uh, but my coach, yeah. I know some fighters will watch movies or television with subtitles to learn English. Has that helped you at all? Yeah, I do that too. I do that too. I, um, like Walking Dead, you know? Yeah, good show, good show. Okay, I like that. And uh, my, my last question, and again, I really appreciate the time to, to both of you. Um, what are some of your hobbies outside of fighting? Um, do you watch any TV or play any video games? What are some of your hobbies outside of fighting? I don't, ha I don't have uh, hobbies, you know? Okay. Just, uh, just MMA. Uh, if, I don't, if I want a hobby, I go to the gym. Do you, do you cook do you, uh, do you cook at all? Do you make your own food? Oh, I, oh yeah yeah wait no I, I like to um, to travel. Okay. I like uh, US uh, I like to travel a lot yeah. Okay, let me ask you this. Um since you speak French, have you ever been to Montreal, Quebec, Canada? Have you ever been to Canada before? Never. Never? Never. Okay. No. Have have you wanted to go? Uh, cuz I it, it's one of the most beautiful cities in North America. Absolutely. I yes. Agree. Yeah. Fernand knows because Cyr Cyril fought in uh, TKO. So he, he's been there before. It's uh, it's a beautiful city. So as a Canadian, I recommend it. You should go to Montreal sometime. Okay. 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 There you go. That's great. Yeah. Oh, sure. William, thank you so much for doing this. Fernand, thank you so much for helping out with the translation. Uh, if there's anyone you would like to thank, any sponsors, any social media you would like to mention, I will give you the last word. I just want to thank all my fans all my team and uh, all, um, all my family.